Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we wanted to show you guys how to export videos from DaVinci Resolve, specifically for YouTube or Google. I was running into a weird problem where I finished color grading and exporting a video, and when I uploaded it to YouTube, the blacks were crushed and it was way underexposed, and I didn't really know how to mitigate the issue at the time. I found a solution to this, but at the time, I didn't actually see any videos addressing the problem. Before we get started, if you're interested in purchasing Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, Microsoft Office, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right guys, so I'm here inside of DaVinci Resolve and let me just show you the clip that I'm going to export. So this is a video I recorded of one of our software videos from last month. And I just finished color grading this and I wanna export it maybe to see how it looks on my phone, for example. Let's go over to the bottom right where it says settings. From here, let's go to the color management settings. Okay, so this issue actually only started affecting me when I changed my timeline color space to DaVinci Wide Gamut, DaVinci Intermediate. So by default, you're not gonna be working with these settings and generally you won't actually wanna do this unless you're working with some type of log or raw footage. And so for me, I'm working with Sony S-Log3 and so I like to color grade and edit inside of this color space here, DaVinci Wide Gamut slash Intermediate because this gives me the most amount of flexibility with the S-Log footage. So the one setting here that I needed to change was output color space. I had this set to Rec. 709 Gamma 2.2. With these exact export settings and this color grade, again, for some reason, whenever I uploaded this to YouTube, it totally crushed the blacks and it made the footage look not very good at all. Luckily, it was an easy fix. All you have to do is change this from Rec. 709 Gamma 2.2 to Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. Again, this is if you're on PC and if your timeline color space is DaVinci Wide Gamma slash Intermediate. If you're on Mac, I believe you can still use Rec. 709-A, which is the output uh, color space that you would want to use for Mac and DaVinci Wide Gamut. But again, just making sure that you're at 2.4 if you're planning to upload to YouTube or to Google Drive. Now, in terms of the export settings themselves, I mostly use the H.264 master and there actually aren't any settings that you have to change here. So again, it was just that one setting that I made to the output color space. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we went over in this video, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have an idea that you'd like to see covered, we strongly encourage you to drop that in the comments below as well. Most of these requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.